what's up yet's guys I'm gonna do another video here and some of yet's guys that have been watching and following some of these videos I noticed right away uh, that if you're listening that uh, some of the comments that I've got which kind of surprised me first of all um, one or two people that uh, say that are playing the oh tin foot uh, tin foil hat uh, card there uh, you can tell they don't even listen to the video um, this video before you go saying that shit uh, you gotta realize or admit that this subject matter uh, you gotta know that uh, you know people are do this shit with you and you probably wonder unless you're one of the people that are just obedient to the hierarchies the crowd whether on the streets or workplace you're just trolling for uh, trolling for them or whatever. But oh, and to some of you people uh, that have been saying some pretty nice comments to me on here, like "God bless you" and bringing God into it, which I highly appreciate it because some of the ways that I am in some of my other videos, if you've even seen them, uh, how disgusted I am with religion and hypocrisy, I highly appreciate it. That even somebody like me that you would and I'm not even don't even consider myself evil but I'm just I try to be nice but I'm trying to be tolerant of everybody but I'm not gonna go and lie to anybody I'm sick of. but I appreciate that uh, wow that you're actually that nice and oh God to me in videos like this uh, I guess cuz I highly respect that uh, and I am kind of intrigued in a way that you believe in things like with gang stock could go on and you had actually incorporated it into your beliefs. Uh, even though I'm not quite like you, I I am with you on that. It's, there's a lot of different things I want to talk about that I observed in the world too. It's too much for in one video. But anyway, um, Here's one for you that I always wanted to talk about uh, without further ado here too. That I can go on and on. I rattle on about this to either my girlfriend or other people and then I always had this thing where once I go to make a video and I say, okay, I'm, this video is about, I screw it up in my speaking in a video. Unlike to an actual person, if I was here with you, I'd talk your ear off about it. I get better and better in a video, but anyway. All right, here's here's where you go. This is like trying to say this without making it a long ass video. Trying to say it like I'm saying to other people, and even you trolls, you've got to know that I don't care who you are. That uh, you got to admit that you put up with this, and it's quite fascinating. It goes on. There's no hypocrisy. It can be among members of your own family, people you work next to, and even on the streets, different places you. Uh, different places you live on the streets that you observe this and sometimes you can get away with saying it but yet you could either get fired or get your ass kicked or get hurt real bad depending on where you live but yet you observe this and if you say it you can get your ass kicked but I'm gonna say the different levels of hierarchy this is first of all there's these levels these certain people that are practically fearless like I'm not even really heavily built that can kick a certain purpose at people's ass, right? If you're like a little bit more built, better in kinds of combat than me, you've got to be dealing with this. But I'm gonna first. I'm gonna do in the level. Uh, okay, uh, you get this. Unlike the the people that I would talk about later that could kick your ass real easy if you say one wrong thing or or whatever, and they know damn well. I'm gonna get to that later, but. First of all, the ones that are equal to you, maybe um, maybe you can probably kick your ass, or it's uh, the stage can be even, you know, or uh, or, the, or okay, the ones that you can all uh, you you're watching this that you would like to just you know damn well you get go to jail and you want to just oh grab and choke them or just that they can get right in your face or say all kind of shit and make these faces right. Uh, it's almost like they want to be a martyr or something. And I remember I used to uh, look, uh, listen to uh, Boyd Rice uh, 
poetic stuff. I noticed there was one that I always was always my favorite thing that he said. Uh, yeah, if I heard some kind of on the uh, something on the, something on the order of if I hurt you, I'd actually be helping you. You'd get a cards and attention from all your friends, and say if this in the workplace or in the streets. Uh, I'm going to talk about first the ones that they they seem to be fearless. Like, uh, and if you know damn well, you're, uh, you know, maybe you, how do they know that if you pick a day, you know, uh, they. Uh, it's almost like, you know, they didn't even think of what if you're one of the people that you see on the news that's dumb enough to go and do something. You know, you'd go to jail you see that on the news all the time. Uh, but yet, there's some, but this person, okay, there's somebody else that's the same stature as you, even. Not even any bigger or anything. They'll get all nasty with you, but they seem to cringe to this other person, okay? Why is that? You know, there's, you know, there's... And I'm not even saying uh, making gang stalking videos like other people do it, do it, you know what I mean? Say make people paranoid. I'm just trying to make observance, of, of, observances, you know, as hypocrisy. And then, um, then, okay, let, if you got this far in this video, so many people that follow me, this is a subject to talk about. You, you're laughing about it, and you're like, it's hard to make a video because you're always in your head like, what the fuck, what the fuck, you see this shit. Then there's the people that can kick kick your ass, whether in a workplace that you don't dare say anything back to, or you're like, huh, or you can't, you know you could get into a fight, so you're like, oh, come on, this is bullshit, you're not gonna engage, be quick to engage them, because you might get your ass kicked, you know, they're better than you, but then, you know this, right, and then you observe this person that can probably kick your ass, right, that May, that you will, there'll be another person, maybe the same stature as, as you, that he can kick their ass too, or equal to him. That you catch, catch him cringing to this person, and they'll, they'll even almost uh, make a sly comment about their girlfriend or wife or something, you know, and they won't do nothing. And you'd think that person would just grab him by the throat and just uh, beat him within inches of his life. And how come that doesn't happen? Well, in some places that does, but that's what makes you wonder, right? You get them, you get people like that. It's almost like, yeah. And then if you tell this person that can kick your ass that joking about it, you know, there's always, you've got to say it a little subtle. Sometimes if you uh, say it in a non-challenging way, uh, they won't kick your ass. It's usually they have their buddies just laugh in your face, laugh at you and laugh it off because they got enough of friends that it doesn't matter, but uh, in some cases, if you and them are together, you try to suddenly say it, you could get your ass kicked. But, but yeah, you could get your ass kicked or even killed in a way like if, well, they have certain ways of blocking you exposing that, you know what I mean? Uh, I find that real fascinating. They have, uh, they make sure they have their ways out of that, you know what I mean? Uh, and then I want to talk about this dovetails into, I don't know if some of you guys had different dysfunctional houses at home, say if you got along with your father or stepfather or somewhere that you liked them sometimes, and they can kick your ass. You know that when you're younger or a teenager, man, you say the wrong thing. Man, you can get jacked up against the wall, I mean, uh, things like that. And you observe that, you certain things you're not allowed to say or some things you can suddenly say. And this dovetails into people, any of you guys talking about uh, gang stalking, you have handlers, and maybe they have handlers. You wonder about it and say this family member or whatever that could kick pretty much kick your ass or jack you up for challenge him or saying something. And you see them knowing that they'll do that to your their own flesh and blood family members, you know, uh, have rules. You can get your ass kicked for saying this. Then you see them outside, right? Um, somebody out there, some other neighbor, people on the streets that... Uh, they can say something right to them, and uh, even though they can kick your ass, they, uh, they'll go somewhere in the streets, these people, and they'll grin like an idiot when they should be punching them out, punching their lights out, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I always talked about, this is the shit I always wanted to talk about at home, where I had trouble, tell me you guys had that at home, 
or it can, I don't know, it can, that, um, yeah, you can get your ass kicked right in the house. And even though you can get your ass kicked, you can't have total respect for a family member that can kick your ass in the house. When you see them out there, you'd have more respect for them if a neighbor or something talked shit to them and they got in the fight and they punched their lights out. Then you'd fear them more. And there's a case sometimes you would fear them, but you would and then maybe some of you would have that trouble in your house and you'd say that to them at a distance and run and get a distance and you would want to challenge them about it or or what you would do like I did sometimes and embarrass them and say if you got in the fight with people around and other family members around oh yeah you will yeah you will kick my ass and jack me up but when so and so is out there in the street you grin like a fucking idiot and say uh, then when I go, and then they'll say, in, when you say that in front of people, they'll say a thing I, I don't about, oh, more bees with honey than with vinegar. But yet, I do believe that in some cases, more bees with honey than with vinegar, there's, you can make another video about that. Because you have to cleverly, you know, watch yourself in this world. I believe that to an extent, but there's this, why do people do this shit? You know what I mean? And, but you observe things in the world of everything you ever watched, either on TV or on in, uh, videos, like if you watch in YouTube, uh, you know, episodes of Gangland, which there are people in places that, they're not afraid, they'll get into a fight over something, but in your corner of the world, in your house, you'll get some people that can kick your ass and don't dare say the wrong thing, but yet so-and-so can walk right up to them and they'll encourage them. Why is that? You know, there's some kind of hierarchy holds people got over people and reward system and bribe systems going on here. Uh, you know what I mean? And, uh, so you see the hypocrisy and this person could kick your ass and, but yet this person could get away with saying that. But yet you expose that to him. Sometimes you can't risk getting your ass kicked. Why is that? Why? You know, that's pr and some of you trolls that say tinfoil hat shit, right? You're probably trolling because you're tired of that shit. And you're doing, you know, who knows who the fuck you're trolling on places. So, you know, you're just probably frustrated with that. And you're going around trolling people, you know, but, uh, but yeah, you get the, you know, I read the, a book called The BS Syndrome by Victor Salupo. You can get it in Amazon.com, it's a rare book, I should reissue it again, but that's why I call things in the world not just gang stalking, you know, we should call it the BS syndrome and use that term, but yeah, and then once again, like I said, there's the people you're tempted to kick their ass or hit them with something, and maybe you're watching and you, you could kick a person's ass, right, you might be wondering on that reverse side of things, did Oh yeah, this person, they'll fear that they can get their ass kicked, but it's almost like you can do the same damage to them, if not more, right? And it's almost like they want to be a mar martyr or something. They're, they want to go to the hospital and get attention from all their friends and you be in prison for some kind of assault and battery. Maybe they're ready, they got their buddies ready with cameras and they didn't see what that person did and they're ready to put cameras on what you did, you know? They're hoping to pick you in a wrong a wrong you out a bad day and you might just lay on them, you know what I mean? They're hoping for that and maybe they have plans of escape or whatever. Or some of us almost believe in, even though we can't stand religion, that and people try to go to Satanism because, oh God, abandoned me or whatever, Satanism and all that, because, you know, God must be the enemy, right? But yet, Satanism is not the escape and not the shelter because I am a firm believer in some weird ways that I wondered, is there a different level of demons that don't like each other? So an anti-religion, how the fuck could it be the answer, right? If you try to go to different, I study all the shit. You, anyway, I wonder if there's some kind of demon that goes into people that there'd be logical fear that they can get hurt. That maybe some demon goes into them and want, is out to get you. you. We say that as a joke or gremlin or whatever. And then they're not in their right mind at the time either, you know. And it's almost like certain people that are sent there just to fuck with you, or so, or almost like somebody or something sent them just to fuck with you. If you're a Christian that's nice to me, 
like I said, I still analyze that shit different hierarchies, whether it's, and you almost got to wonder if there's hierarchies and pranksters and stalkers, you know, beyond this realm, you know. Don't want to get into no aliens or the uh, reality shows. All of a sudden, you get these reality shows. There's these ghosts everywhere. But and uh, but I'm just yeah, you know, I'm saying in a sarcastic or metaphoric way that man, something fucked up about this world. You know what I mean? And you want to use demons, gremlins, or different things as a metaphor. And I had this one. Uh, philosophy that I'll use. What if something meta, meta okay, what if something metaphoric can become metamorphic? You know what I mean? It starts out as a metaphor. It could be a metaphor. And, okay, it could be meta metaphoric and then after being metaphoric it turns metamorphic. Like uh, all this bullshit that people worship. It's not real but it's real in the sense that they could be given life to it, you know, or but, uh, all this crazy ass shit, you know. Like, in a nutshell, the world's all fucked up. I mean, rather than have tinfoil hat things, you could use something as a metaphor, and you're observing some things. And if somebody accuses you of having tinfoil hat and stuff, or some of the things you watched and you uh, do have respect for, and you like a certain person. You'll find yourself that maybe they'll say things are way far fetched, but yet you're whether it's Alex Jones or something. But yet, when you observe the world, I don't care who the fuck you are, you observe the world and see that shit ain't right. And there's some stuff that is tinfoil hat, but then how come how the fuck people play the tinfoil hat card because you're saying something that is the truth that you're observing, and that all of us, I don't care who the fuck you are, you know, you could be somewhere trolling that you know in your heart that you'll. But yeah, you troll me or somebody else right away, but then somebody else, maybe somebody in your house pulls this hypocrisy that I'm trying to talk about the different. Uh... Anyway, you got that's what you got in this world: the person, the hypocrite that could kick your ass, but but you see so and so could get away with this shit, and then you got the person that you could be tempted to kick their ass. And how how the fuck, it you know ain't it? They're just fearless. Why do you get these people that maybe you can kick their ass or really let them have it? And they seem fearless. And then I, for one, have a sense, even though I act the way they are, as I, I pretty much know, there's a point where you know there, there's people out there who can kick your ass or even kill you. And they should know that too. It doesn't make sense, you know, that, like, you know, you get the ones that want to they're almost like they want to go to the hospital and they're hoping you do something. And, they'll even, and they're even willing to risk death, you know, and try to taunt you into doing something. And like, aren't they afraid that they can get hurt no matter what they're being rewarded with or whatever friends they think they have or whatever attention that they want to get? Yeah, I mean, you get the people that want to go to the hospital for attention and shit like that. Gifts from all their friends and maybe even have a GoFundMe set up. But yeah, the ones that would be more, most dangerous to you and me. Which one you think is more dangerous if you got far, got this far in this video? The person that could kick your ass, right? That let so and so get away with something. But if you tell him about it, then he could kick your ass for uh, you trying to imply that. You know, I mean, and threaten you more. Or the person that you could kick their ass. That seems fearless. That um, that you you don't you don't understand what, how can they get the nerve to do that? But then they seem, but yet they they seem to be uh, afraid, cringe at the so and so, and and you're looking at this right and saying, "Well, geez, I can do the same damage as this guy. It's not like he's any more built or anything." But yet they'll. That, that, I mean, this, uh, that's where you would say sometimes in some places that the world's gone crazy. What do you think? You 